tares among the sheep. And because very little biblical, compassionate church discipline is practiced, they live among the sheep, they feed on the sheep, and they destroy the sheep. And those of you who are leaders in the church are going to pay a high penalty when you stand before the one who loves them. Because you did not have enough courage to stand up and confront the wicked. As a matter of fact, listen to me. The average scenario in North America with regard to churches, by and large, the churches are democracies, and I don't want to get into the ifs or pros or cons of that. But here's what happens. Because the preaching of the gospel is so low, the church is basically, the majority of it are carnal, lost people. And because it is a democracy, they, by, by and large, govern the direction of the church. And because the pastor doesn't want to lose the great number of people, and because he has wrong ideas regarding evangelism and true conversion, he caters to the wicked in his church. And his little group of true sheep that belong to Jesus Christ are sitting there in the midst of all the theater, in the midst of all the worldliness, in the midst of all the multimedia going, we just want to worship Jesus, and we just want someone to teach us the Bible. And pastors are going to pay for that. Trying to keep together a bunch of wicked people while a little flock in the midst of them are starving to death and are made to go in directions they don't want to go with the carnal majority. Listen to me. If my wife was at Walmart late one night and you walked by as a man and you saw that two men were abusing her, three, four, five, ten men were abusing her and hurting her, and you put your head down in the name of self-preservation and you walk by, I want to tell you something, my friend. I will not only look for those ten men, I will look for you. It is the bride of Christ and she is precious to him. It's going to cost you to serve Jesus. It could cost you your church, your reputation, your denomination, absolutely everything. But the bride of Jesus Christ is worth it. Liars. They are liars.